There's not one simple answer that's going to get us through this housing crisis. Treating housing as health care. It may sound a little far-fetched, but housing advocates say Medicaid expansion here in North Carolina could help ease the strain of finding a safe and affordable place to live, which is one of our area's biggest challenges. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Tess Barshabur has been covering the housing crunch in Greensboro and explains how city leaders are pushing for more funding to keep people housed and healthy. Yeah, Katie, it all comes down to what lawmakers decide. Right now, Greensboro's neighborhood development director says Medicaid use is restrictive. If lawmakers expand the program, funds could be used to help pay for housing costs that do not stop climbing. I actually think of housing as preventative health care. It keeps folks from getting to a place that they have some of the higher acuity needs. Greensboro's Neighborhood Development Director Michelle Kennedy explained expanded Medicaid funding could help fill in gaps in housing. I can think of one example of someone that I've, I've worked with for a long time who she has a history of some psychological needs, a few um, physical health needs, but she doesn't qualify for nursing home services or things like that. She says states supporting housing through the program have already expanded. North Carolina isn't there yet. Medicaid expansion was just approved by our Senate, and we are in a place where we're waiting to see if it's going to be ultimately approved in the state. State Senator Michael Garrett said Tuesday conversations on Medicaid are centered on getting the bill across the finish line. Once that happens, the state can explore more innovative ways to use the funds. This is actually one of the most fiscally responsible ways to do that. By investing those dollars in housing, those are dollars that we don't ultimately end up spending in medical costs. So there's a good return on the investment when those dollars are used in that way. And there's a good argument for why we should use them in that way. Currently, the city is working on other partnerships with the county and Cone Health to support people without stable housing. There's often a need for respite beds as people experiencing homelessness have a, a medical crisis or a medical need and need to recover uh, but don't need to be in the hospital and they can't really do that in a tent. How do we build respite beds into our community so folks have an opportunity to recover from health crises? That's critically important. Michelle Kennedy said there's a huge gap in housing that really exists from the zero to 80% median income range, largely for people who make 60% of area median income and below, housing is just not affordable. If expanded Medicaid dollars would have to be used for people who qualify for Medicaid based on their disability status or their own personal circumstances. Neil.